JWTC, the Jungle Warfare Training Center, is on the northern end of Okinawa uh, on Camp Consalvis. It's massive. Um, you're just looking at double canopy jungle, uh, rolling hills. Well, not really rolling hills so much as, you know, you're going like this one minute, you get two seconds of flat ground, and then you're going back down a hill. It gave me a much better appreciation for the guys. Took this island and other islands like it during World War II and everybody that served in Vietnam. I don't know how, especially in Vietnam, you know, 13 month tours in the jungle. I don't know how guys did that because I was there for eight days and I was destroyed. The endurance course, or the e-course, it's about five miles long and there's 30 obstacles in this thing. Um, everything from a vertical wall, a uh, 10 foot wall you gotta climb over, um, to a cargo net, to something they call the pit and pond. Some of the filthiest water I've ever seen in my life. You're low crawling through it, it comes up almost to your, to your mouth when you're low crawling. Uh, wearing your Kevlar, your Camelback, uh, carrying around a rubber rifle. After that endurance course, I was the dirtiest I've ever been in my life. Uh, you're gonna get dirty, you're gonna get wet, you're gonna be miserable, you're gonna be carrying a lot of weight, uh, you're gonna have casualties, uh, you're gonna be uh, put, put under a lot of stress, and at the same time being told to move faster and faster, which is everything that ideally we're pretty much uh, already familiar with, you know, being in a stressful environment as Marines, it's our second nature, but uh, they definitely try to increase the pressure as the course goes on. Uh, it's really just a gigantic team building exercise. In Jungle Warfare Training Center, they teach you mainly to patrol through the jungle, setting up patrol bases, um, individual skills such as knot tying, hasty repelling, conducting operations that an infantry battalion would, uh, would be anticipated to, to do. Hasty repelling um, was actually one of the more enjoyable parts uh, of JWTC. I'm terrified of heights. I absolutely hate heights, but the hasty repelling is fun. Um, it's anytime you come upon uh, a pretty decent downslope, um, but not a vertical face. Um, you just tie a rope off at the top, throw it down the decline, and you you got one arm out behind you, the rope wrapped around your back, and another arm in front of you, and you're basically leaning so that your body is perfectly perpendicular to the ground. So you know, if you got a, a slope like this, you want your body perfectly perpendicular. So you're just holding onto this rope, and the best way to do it, this is gonna sound stupid, but the best way to do it is just run. You run, don't look where you're going, don't try to put your feet certain places because you're going to fall. If you just run full speed, you'll be all right. The only real comfort you have on this course is that you're not, you don't have any mud on your face and that you're not too wet. Right. The pit and pond takes all that and throws it out the window. You jump down into this pit full of water. You're skull dragging through some mud. You're going under, under some of the water obstacles themselves. You're crawling through sea wire. And then they've got a booby trap. It's concrete uh, blocks, like two cinder blocks, with a sheet of plexiglass over the top. You can lay there, and wiggle your way through with your rifle, you know, on your chest, just kind of slowly wiggle your way backwards without disturbing that plexiglass. If you touch that plexiglass, not make it fall off, if you touch that plexiglass, everybody in a five meter area is dead and has to go back to the beginning. From where you already are, very uncomfortable, it takes you to the next level. About 80% of the area that we're operating in in the Pacific region is a jungle environment. The reason that we need to be proficient at our job in a jungle environment is because at any time we can be called upon to you know, deploy to those areas to provide aid, security assistance, whatever the case may be.